upcoming for them, 49ers, Dolphins, Steelers. That's the road to the one seed if you're the Baltimore Ravens. It's, it's a gauntlet, and it's going to be tough. We saw that graphic, number one scoring defense in the league. Yeah. They're going to be playing a red-hot offense in San Francisco next week. But I, I love Coach Harbaugh there. When, when he said, you know, my job as a coach is to build around my players, build a system that they can thrive in. And that's why Kyle Hamilton sat here and said, we love this guy. That's why that's why players love him. He, he kind of reminds me. He has kind of your demeanor, Coach. Mm. He might be a little fire, like a, <laughs> a little, little bit more, more yeah. <laughs> than you. But, I mean, he has your um, demeanor, and, and you can trust a guy like that. And you, you talked about, like you talked about, you talked about playoff environment. And anytime you can get this experience in this environment, I think that helps those young players that you have allowed them to grow and and trust me we had Kyle here and he said you know we lost here last year um, I'm sure coach Harbaugh pointed that out that they came back here with a mission and that was to win a playoff style game right yeah. here Hey, Lamar was talking about too even going back to college I haven't won yeah. on this field he yeah. cared about getting a win on this field how about Lamar too going head to head with Brock Purdy two guys at the top of that MVP conversation Dak Prescott lost today badly Huge game for the MVP race as well next week. Well, I, I like Brock Purdy. You know, yeah. I've been preaching Brock Purdy or um, Tyreek Hill. I think Brock Purdy's done a great job. I think he's the MVP. And he's got Purdy. I do. That's current current MVP as right it now. stands. And, and Tyreek Hill is number two. Respect. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I like what Lamar Jackson <laughs> did here tonight, and you know, he, he does so much for this offense. He does. And they've got a great record, and he's a big part of it. Still a little early. I'm a, I'm a MVP voter, so I got to hold my. <laughs> I, I do wonder too how much of them, because you guys were commenting all night on how much they're throwing the football around, especially in that first half. How much of that is? Let's just make sure we show up to the playoffs with a healthy Lamar Jackson, and we'll run when we need him to run. I, it. I think that's part of it. But as as Rodney said, I think they know they can run the football, and so hey, if we're gonna play a team that maybe gangs up on our run, we've got to be good throwing the ball. We want to have confidence in this passing game. I think they're kind of just it's, experimenting and that's working. Exactly, that's exactly. Exactly. Yep. word I was about to use that's exactly what they're doing they're just out here trying to see the offense and get Lamar um, used to just controlling everything I love the fact that they've given him free reign in the offense but at times Todd Munkin this is the National Football League this ain't University of Georgia where 90% <laughs> of the guys at University of Georgia they're going to be carpenters or businessmen you're talking about the <laughs> National Football <laughs> League right that's what we talk about so it's, it's just different up here Hey, a lot of great carpenters and businessmen. No as well, question. Though. That's My dad was sure. one. Absolutely. Some of that. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.